So let's take the same example where we had identified. What did we identify? We had seen that assets minus liabilities were all always equal to capital. Now we will see the rules. We will see what is debited and what is credited. How are we going to do that? We will first see what is the transaction which is given to us here. Capital introduced, deposited cash into bank, bought furniture, bought goods, sold goods, etc, etc, etc. So we will have the transaction. Identify the transaction. Then what do we have to do? Identify the accounts involved. Like in our previous example, it was furniture and cash. Once you identify the accounts involved, the items involved, then we have to decide whether we have to, we have to identify whether that is a asset, it is account is the asset, is a liability, is an income or an expense. Once we know it is an asset, if we think it is an asset, increase in asset we will debit, decrease we will credit. If it is a liability we are talking about, then increase in liability we will credit and decrease in liability we will debit. Similarly, with respect to expense, we had the rules. What was it? The same as in case of an asset. If there is an increase in expense, we will debit. And if there is a decrease in expense, decrease in expense, then we will, then we will credit. Similarly, with respect to income, what do we do? Income is just the same as liability. So what do we do? If there is an increase in income, it is credit. Increase in income is credit. And decrease in income will be a Decrease in income will be a debit, will be a debit. Okay, with this let us consider. The transaction is given to us very clearly. Capital introduced 5 lakhs. So what are the accounts involved when capital is introduced? First money comes in, so cash comes in. Next what happens? Who brings in the money? The owner, the proprietor. So now, once the proprietor has given money, it is as if the proprietor is lending money to the business. So in the books of the business, remember they are two separate entities. The owner is separate, business is separate. We are recording transactions in the books of the business. We are going to pass accounting entries in the books of the business. So now the business owes this money to the proprietor. The liability of the business to the proprietor is called capital, is called capital. So what are the two accounts involved? One is cash and one is owner's account. Owner's account actually is represented as capital. What is cash? Cash is an asset. What is this owner's account? Liability to the owner, right? It's capital. Like I said, this is actually called capital. Liability of the business to the owner is called capital. Cash has come into the business, there is an increase in cash, increase in cash, therefore we debit cash. Therefore we debit cash. What about the owner's account? Now money is owed to the owner. The business has a liability to the owner. Liability has increased, asset has increased, liability has increased. Therefore we credit owner's account, we actually credit capital account. Owner's account is represented by capital account. Let us try this again. Deposited cash into bank. Deposited cash into bank. So what are the two things involved? When you deposit cash into bank, one amount of cash comes down. So one is cash. The other is we are giving this money to the bank. We are giving this money to the bank. So tomorrow if the business needs this money, they can take it back from the bank. It is a receivable. So let us see the two accounts involved are cash and bank. Accounts involved. What is cash? Cash is an asset. What is bank? What is bank? Bank, we have given money to the bank. Therefore, this is receivable. Just like when the proprietor gave money to the business, the business now has a liability to the proprietor. Similarly, when the business gives money, when the business gives money to the bank, the bank is an asset. It's an asset. Receivables are asset. Tomorrow I can collect this money from the bank. It is receivable. I can take it from the bank. The bank owes me this money. I have lent it to the bank so to say. So bank is also called an asset. Now what has happened to cash? My cash has come down. So cash, there is a decrease. 
bank, there is an increase. So I'll credit cash and I will debit bank. So basically that accounting equation is just being represented with debits and credits because that is how I will frame an accounting entry. An accounting entry has a debit side on one and a credit side on the other. So this is debit bank, credit cash. Why do we credit cash? Because cash has come down. Cash is an asset and it has come down. Why do we debit bank? Because bank is also an asset and bank balance has increased. Next, bought furniture and issued check. So we got the transaction. What are the accounts involved? Bought furniture, issued check. Therefore, accounts involved should be bank and furniture. Bank and furniture. We bought furniture. Furniture is an asset. Furniture asset is increased. Therefore, we debit furniture. Therefore, we debit furniture. What about bank? Bank is also an asset, but the bank balance has come down. Bank balance has come down. Therefore, we credit bank. Therefore, we credit bank. One more example. We buy goods, bought goods, issued check. So, bought goods and paid by a check. So, what happens? Goods, what are the accounts involved? Goods and bank. Goods and bank. We bought goods. It's an asset which has increased, gone up. Therefore, you debit goods. Remember, assets are debits. Issued check. So, the bank balance has, it's an asset and has come down. Therefore, we credit bank. We credit bank. Bought goods on credit from Azad. Bought goods on credit from Azad. So, there is goods and there is Azad. Right? Goods has increased. Goods is an asset. Goods has increased. Therefore, we debit goods. Goods bought on credit from Azad means we have purchased the goods from Azad. We have not yet paid him. Therefore, we have a liability to Azad now. We have a liability to pay Azad now. Therefore, this is a liability. Increase in liability is a credit. Increase in liability is a credit. Similarly, we paid rent. Paid rent of 20,000. When you pay rent, what are the expenses? What are the accounts involved? The accounts involved here are rent and cash. We should be a little alert here. When we make a rent payment, we pay money to the landlord. But it is not the landlord's account which comes in, but it is the rent account which comes in. Why is this? Because if we say it is landlord account, it would actually mean that we have to get this money from the landlord. That is not the case. Rent is something we are, we are making a payment for, maybe use of the premises which has been given to us by the landlord. So when we make payment of an expense, payment of an expense to a particular person, it is not the person who comes into the accounts. The account involved is actually the particular expense. We are paying to the landlord on account of rent. So what is the, what is the account involved here? Not, not landlord account, but expense account or rent account. So what is rent? It's an expense. Increase in expense, increase in asset are debit. So we debit rent. What happens to cash? Cash is an asset but cash has come down because we have paid the money. Therefore we credit cash. Decrease in asset is credit. Sold all goods and received check of 4.2. We sold goods. So goods is affected. We got check, therefore bank is affected. The only problem here is that we received a check for 4.2 lakhs, but the value of our goods was only 3 lakhs. You remember we bought goods for 1 lakh here and we bought goods here for, in the previous example, not given here, this was actually for 2 lakhs. This was actually for 2 lakhs. 
So we got goods for 3 lakh but we are selling for 4.2. We are straight away making a profit of 1.2. So we now have a bank account, we have a goods account and we have a profit account. Profit belongs to whom? To the proprietor. Therefore I have just said capital here. Capital here. So bank is an asset. Money has come into the bank. Increase bank. Increase bank, bank balance has come up by 4.2. We've sold all the goods. Goods have gone. Asset has gone. Decrease in asset. We credit goods for an amount of 3. Because the cost of our goods was only 3. And this 1.2 is profit of the business. Profit of the business belongs to the proprietor. When the business makes profit, it its liability to its owner increases. Liability to the owner increases. So its capital is liability increase. We credit capital for 1.2. So you have 3 plus 1.2 equal to 4.2. This is how we go about passing accounting entries, deciding which account is to be debited and what is to be credited. Identify the transaction, identify the accounts involved. Once you know what are the accounts involved, so what is the nature of the account? Is it an asset or a liability? Is it an income or an expense? Then apply the rules. What was the rule? Increase in asset debit, therefore decrease in asset credit. Increase in liability is credit. Increase in liability is credit. Decrease in liability is 